Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're gonna hard mode a random run, and we're gonna play as Maggie. Yeah, we'll do it. I was considering restarting just because we just had a run fairly recently as Maggie, but then, you know, if you... If you restart a run when you don't like the character, like, kind of, hello, D100, uh, then I think it kind of defeats the purpose of re-rolling. Okay. You know what we should do? We should use the D100 in that other room to re-roll the, uh, the Yum Heart. Because it does re-roll everything. So, bearing that in mind, let's grab this. Let's use it once to regenerate our health. And then re-roll that, and we... What? What did we have? <laughs> we had Eden's Blessing on the last run. I didn't even realize that we had another item. Either way, though, we now have a lot more speed than we did before. There's a tinted rock there. We also have, like, absurd amounts of HP for the first floor. So, uh, we have, like, all the red hearts. I should have looked to see what we had. Uh, also, before I forget... There's the seed, XDX8MA18, if you feel like playing a run with the D100. Uh, and given that we have a bomb, let's go blow that up. Take our spirit heart. And let's go. Let's move on. I heard a key. But I think this is going to be one of those runs. This is going to be a D100 run. So we're going to be re-rolling a bit. And I think that'll make this fun. You know, uh, transformations are going to be great. Considering we already have one of the spun items. You know, if we can get a couple deals with the devil, get some guppy items maybe going, then we're, we're sitting pretty. We just need to not get hit by spider dude here. Okay, there we go. And thankfully, we're fast enough... That we can avoid his annoying attacks that are a result of essentially just being... You know, like, he just jumps at you. That's all he does. He's not that hard. He jumps at you and he spawns more spiders. But with the proper amount of speed, you can easily avoid all his jumps. And he just killed one of the spiders for us. So that was... I, I'm grateful. Um, and we are actually going to get a reroll here. Ooh. Squeezy's pretty good. We'll take it. And I think we will hold off on a reroll for now. Because we just got a tears upgrade. So let's hold off on rerolling. We'll see what we get. And we got to remember the spiders. That was just the worst. Why? Self, what you doing? You just stood there and let yourself get hit. Okay, I need you. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Check this. Curse of the Tower. That's pretty bad. Kidney Stone. That's also pretty bad. There's a Tinted Rock down there, isn't there? You know what? We'll take it. It doesn't matter. It's going to get re-rolled anyway. Who cares? It's not going to get re-rolled right this second, but it's going to get re-rolled. Let's just be realistic here. We don't know what it's going to re-roll into. Or when that re-roll is going to happen. Probably after our deal is what I'm thinking. And we're going to want to basically take all the deal items that we can. Okay, there we go. Well, that doesn't do me good. All right, gluttony is fine, whatever. If you give me the heart, though, I'd actually be really happy, because then that's just another item to add to our reroll list. One more potential item that could be something incredible. And I think the trick with the D100... Wow, the damage was just... Oh. That was terrible. Um, I think the trick with the D100 is knowing when to quit, right? <laughs> like, that's what it comes down to. That's when you're like, okay, we've done what we needed to do. We do have a ton of red hearts, so deals with the devil, definitely going to be the best option here. Because when you re-roll, do a full run re-roll like a D100, D4, I think including the, the dice rooms as well. Um, basically what you're doing is you're re-rolling every item into another item from the same item pool. So, if we get deal with devil items, and then we re-roll them, then we're set. That's a real good item. Let's swing up here. Yeah, that's nice. I'll take that. 
And then... That was terrible. Uh, and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get our hands on a little bit of consumables here by re-rolling all of that. Gave us a couple keys. We got Death's Touch. Yeah, that's some good stuff here. That's not bad. And we're about to go get the pentagram as well. So uh, I would like that, please. I was kind of hoping for a bomb so we could blow up this tinted rock, but our HP is fine. We don't really need it that bad. All right, down we go. So we're in a good position for the next floor. Got a good amount of damage, got piercing shots, all is well. Our rate of fire is, you know, considerably worse than it was, but I think it's a small price to pay. We are going to check the cursed room. Please blow that up. Thank you. Cursed Eye. Okay, okay, yes. I'm going to take Cursed Eye. The thinking here being that we can live with it long enough to reroll and we will re-roll into something else. We also now have two guppy items, which is fantastic. And like, Cursed Eye is not that bad, other than its minor side effect, other than, well, it, I shouldn't even say minor side effect. It's actually a pretty major side effect of teleporting you when you don't want to teleport whenever you get hit. I have no bombs. I can't blow that up. That's a, okay. I'm kind of looking at that. I gotta admit, I'm looking at that self-sacrifice room and going, Maybe. I don't know. Okay, you're dead. There we go. Well, that, I was going to say, this has got to be the secret room, but the thing is, like, health down. Mm, that's pretty bad, but whatever. Let's go check this as well. I mean, we've got two guppy items already. That's crazy. And we haven't re-rolled into either one. Okay, there we go. We're going to re-roll, and we're Guppy. And other than that, the run's pretty terrible. <laughs> but we're Guppy. So that's a, a good, like, that's a good base. Just being Guppy by itself is maybe not enough to win you a run, but it's certainly enough to give you a pretty good leg up. Retrovision kind of stinks. And now we can fly as well, which is nice. So thank you for... Guppy. I don't actually need to be shooting anymore, do I? We we're, we can drop that. I don't have cursed dice. So I don't have a charge thing anymore. All right. So far, so good. We'll want to reroll out of this, though, uh, fairly quickly, I think. Because we'll keep the Guppy transformation, but basically every other item on here is kind of garbage. So, um, there we go. What do we got here? BBF. That's, uh, we're going to pick that up now because we want to reroll that one, too. And yeah, part of me wants to backtrack all the way over there for that one item, but I just don't think it's worth it. And we don't really care about any of that either. All right, moving on. This I'm a little worried about. We made it out. We're okay. Okay, that's fine. Balls of steel. I'm going to hold that, actually. And uh, you know what? We're going to reroll again. Okay, I see a five rate of fire, a little damage increase. Yeah, there's some decent stuff here. We can, uh, this probably isn't what we want to stick with long term, but it's not bad. And we are guppy, so. Having that five rate of, uh, that, that five rate of fire is nice. I'm going to check here for a secret room. That's not it. I'm also going to check here for a secret room. Also not it. Okay, well, I'm fine. We'll go fight the stain. And we'll let Guppy just destroy the stain. Don't get hit by that. That would be horrendous. Okay. Oh, hi. All right, you're dead. Um. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll re-roll it into something else. Down we go. I mean, the, the downside here is that <laughs> we're quickly running out of room for uh, any error whatsoever. Because... Pretty soon we're just going to have nothing but red hearts. And that means we're not really going to get a whole lot more deal items. But, on the flip side of that, we've already gotten Guppy. So, like, if you went through all the deals with the devil in the game and the only thing you got was Guppy, I think you'd be pretty happy. 
So I'm okay with this. And also, we can play this thing and get a lot of money. We'll take that. Why not? And let's get up to 30 cents, and then I'll call it good. One more. Okay. Eh, 31 cents, just for good measure. Not because I miscounted. Promise. Okay, there we go. Check this. That's a terrible item. We'll want to reroll in that room. That's also all pretty bad. Okay. Well. We got our reroll. Let's we'll swing in here. We'll do one of those. That gave us spun. Gave us magic mush. But this actually seems pretty decent. Chariot card. High Priestess. We're going to stick with Balls of Steel. I'm going to take Isaac's Heart against my better judgment. And then I'm going to grab this. What do we actually have here? Not much for, like, cool tier effects. Let's re-roll in here. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. So we've got a ton of stuff as far as, like, items and things go. Hangman, World. I'm just going to pop the World card. Um... I actually don't want any more spacebar items. Grab that. Open that. Judgment. Uh, demon judgment would be lovely. You know, I gave... Oh, ho, ho, ho. It gave me a demon judgment. Okay. All right. I know you're going to pay out with something. It's going to happen. Paid out with demon baby. I'm good with that. Give me your demon baby. Okay. So we got a four rate of fire. No cool tier effects. Spun. This is another item that... Uh, this is another one that we're going to re-roll, I think. Hanged Man. I mean, we might as well just pick this stuff up, right? And then I think we'll just move on. Until we manage to get our hands on another re-roll. Also, we know that's the secret room, and we got golden bombs, so there's no reason to not blow that up. Skeleton Key is amazing. Since it's not only... An item that will persist after we die. Or uh, not die, but ooh, I totally thought I was going to get a hit there. It's not only an item that's going to persist, uh, essentially, after we re-roll, because you keep the keys. But also, it will be able to re-roll it into a uh, item room item. And there's some, or a, a secret room item, and there's some decent stuff in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, we're not at the boss just yet, but we're almost there. Just gotta kill these guys. Alright, pop up, please. Okay. And then we're hoping for a deal here so we can get rid of some of these hearts. Carrion Queen is annoying, but manageable, especially with Guppy. I just need to not get hit. There we go. Deal, please. You didn't give me a deal. Game! I needed the deal to get rid of some of these red hearts. Oh, that's real bad. Okay, that's fine. Let's head down to the next floor. We're guppy. It is possible that we could make it through a floor without getting hit. Just not extremely likely. But it is possible. All right, yep. Uh, and you know what? Oh, I got Capricorn. We're going to re-roll right now. Okay. This seems... And doesn't really seem better than what we had. We're going to have hands dropping here pretty quick. Okay, there we go. Blow this up. We'll grab all the useful stuff. This pill, explosive diarrhea. Okay, run away. That's fine. Drop the retrovision because it stinks. I do want this back. And we're going to reroll again. We want to be careful not to breakfast ourselves, though. Like, that's kind of important. Pheromones is junk. Retrovision is junk. Hermit card is okay. Ooh, we do have Deadeye. And very good damage. But horrible rate of fire. And Sulfuric Tears as well, it seems. Okay. We don't need the Strength card. That's just, like, completely useless. Since we can... Since, like, do you know how many red hearts we have right now? I'll take it, I guess. It's an item. It's an item that we actually already had. 
Oh, wait. And we have Explosivo. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Deadeye Guppy is a pretty sweet combo, but... Like, this one just, just doesn't quite have it. Like, it's almost there. It's just not quite what we're looking for. Let's put a bomb here and just check for a secret room. That isn't one. Oh, and we got scatter bombs. Okay, good to know. Avoid all that. We got to get rid of you at all costs as quickly as possible. And we have done so. Give me my deal. Why do we have dumps cap? Do we have chaos? No. Why is dunce cap showing up in the boss room? That's very strange. Okay, Krampus. That's not what I was hoping for. A lump of coal is fine. Two. Two of clubs is also fine. And we're heading down to the next floor. I was really hoping to get rid of some of these red hearts, if I'm being honest, but... Okay. Uh, let's reroll again. See what we got. This seems really bad. We're going to want to get rid of this as quickly as we can. Yeah, this is uh, pretty terrible. Retrovision again. Yeah, so you the Hermit card. Hermit, uh, okay. Thank you, ability to fly. And I got to remember, is this the Depths 1 or Depths 2? Oh, that this, this button. Depths 2. So we're actually well on pace for boss rush, which is pretty sweet. I'll take that. It's more bombs, even though we don't really need them at all. But we can steal item from boss rush for whatever it's worth. Okay, get rid of all these guys. There we go. Reroll. Get me out of this run. Serpent's kiss. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Wafer? Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, this is a little bit better. The damage is kind of garbage, but we got Jacob's Ladder. We got Continuum. Like, there's some there's some stuff to like here. This might be uh, what we want to stick with, at least for the moment. Let's blow this up as well. Oh, and we got Pyro. And yes, we want that. And yes, we want that. And we already have Guppy, so we don't need the left hand. Left hand does nothing for us at this point. Um, what are you? Finger bone. Looks brittle. I think it increases the chances of bone hearts showing up, which does not help me. Since I've got, like, all the HP in the world. We also have shielded tears, obviously. Like, this is, this is a pretty decent run. And we got to teleport to the deal. We're totally taking both of these. And we've got number two. Okay. Um... <laughs> and we got the relic. I mean... And we got Dark Judas. Um... Let's do it. Cricket's head, we have seven. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is not, please tell me this is not what I think it was. Oh. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> we have Ipecac, which is lovely. But then we have the worst of all things. Um, okay. This is, you know what? Let's go for it. Wow, that seems actually, like, surprisingly amazing, maybe? Host hat. Host hat would be great. Okay, no host hat. That's fine. Um, let's take... Tech point five, maybe? Yeah, let's take tech point five. We're totally doing boss rush with this ridiculous nonsense. Everything will die. We've got, like, Tiny Planet, Ipecac, something. I I don't even know what this run is. But everything is dying very, very quickly. And I appreciate that. 
And we also have like a billion familiars. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That's all right. We'll just Ipecac everything to death. It's okay. I can just stand here and watch as everything fades into oblivion and dies. I mean, what kind of a person would I be if I turned my back on this run? This is like... I, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, D100. That was the fastest boss rush in the history of, like, ever. Let's get weirder. Okay. So, be cognizant of those, but still. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to teleport out as well. I want to check the cursed room. I'm going to buy that. Okay, so you can't blow up rocks with this, unfortunately, it looks like. What a weird run. I mean, I've got a million bombs, so, like, it doesn't matter if I can't blow up rocks, but at the same time, like, what is this? It's only a matter of time until I kill myself. Oh, come on. You can you can do it. Do I have holy mantle? I do. I've got holy mantle. Oh, okay. That makes this uh like way better than I thought it was. Like it's still great. Don't get me wrong. Did you see this? I think that was probably the fastest boss rush I have ever had. So, like, I'm not complaining, but... And my flies, by the way, do a hundred and some damage. So, yeah, we'll take it. Like, <laughs> it's just... Oh, this run... The flies, I also, like, have no idea where my head is, but I can live with that. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Let's just get out of here and head down to the next floor. This run is something. It's something for sure. I don't know what that something is, but it is absolutely something. I, I'm not re-rolling this one. This is, it, this is the most incredibly strange powerful and also horrifying run I've seen in a long time. Everything is like exploding around me and yet everything is dying very quickly. We got uh, trinket something speed down. That's pretty bad. Our speed is actually pretty terrible. I'm going to lie. Okay. I know that this is... Please, Ipecac shots, stop deflecting my bombs. I just want to get into the secret room. Uh, okay. Well, we have successfully exploded everything. Hero font card. Hey, that could come in handy. Who knows? I, I genuinely don't. No. Uh, we have a 67% chance of a deal if I can uh, live long enough and not take damage. And th that may be harder than it seems. Please avoid. Okay. It may be harder than it seems to avoid damage on this run. Simply because of all the Ipecac shots flying around like everywhere. Okay. Avoid. Let's just get in the corner. We're fine. Okay. Throw down a bomb there. Okay, um, I'm actually really tempted to play the Demon Judgment, not gonna lie, uh, but we'll fight the boss first. Let's go fight the boss, we'll see how much HP we have after we fight the boss, and we'll see what we get as a boss item. Pop a fly, I swear, like, chaos is a thing or something? That I definitely want, that's a very much needed speed upgrade. I've got this hero font card, we will take you. Add him to the list of followers, right? We've already got, like, every other follower in the game. What's one more? Okay. Tinted rock. Grab that. Uh, uh please, I just want to go over here. Um, I, then 
again, what do we actually want from the Demon Judgment? The answer is nothing. There's nothing that the Demon Judgment has that we are interested in. We've already gotten all the syringes over the course of re-rolling. There's nothing here. There's nothing here we're interested in. We just don't care. Okay. The luck upgrade, on the other hand, is nice. And the mini boss is very dead. All right, two of clubs, doesn't matter. Fool card. We'll stick with our hero font. Yeah, get out before we get exploded. There's a dice room. I, I don't think we want the dice room though. I, what are we gonna hope to do? Reroll the run? We can do that whenever we want. I, I don't need the keys either. I got 99 cents. And I also think that, uh, without a doubt, Tech Point 5 was the best item to take from Boss Rush. It's helping us generate a whole lot of flies and deal a whole lot of damage. Because it does scale. At least as far as I can tell. Yeah, let's leave and go back. What do we got in here? A teleport to another deal. Which actually, I'm going to take. Why not? I know that the uh, the goat head does literally nothing for me at this point, but who knows? You know, if we hit a real bad spot, we may want to reroll and panic and hope that we get something incredible. And yes, we're totally fighting Hush with this run, by the way. Like it's it's gonna it's this is gonna happen. Prepare yourselves. Give me that. G g yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. We'll get all the sacks. Speed upgrade is actually awesome. We kind of needed it. Uh, rune bag is lovely. Chocolate milk. I have to know. How how will this even work? Okay. Well, I don't know what's happened to this run. We're going to be firing around giant explosive coins. I know there's a, t a the speed upgrade in here somewhere. Infested. Infested. Thank you for not being uh, a, um, whatever the one is that makes you like super ridiculously whatchamacallit. Thank you for not being I'm excited. That's the pill that I was thinking of. It took me a minute. I'm a little rusty, apparently, on, like, my my Isaac thoughts. Also, I appreciate the fact that Broken Stopwatch gave us the slowdown just for this one fight. Let's just add all the Ipecac shots. You know what? I don't think it was Stopwatch that triggered. I think it was something else that slowed Hush down there for a minute. That was the easiest hush fight that I've had in a very long time. So, I mean, do we want to do delirium or do we want to do something different? Um, I think we're going to go to the void floor. I'm tempted to go to the chest, try and get to the void floor after the chest, but uh, let's just go. And I can see the whole map. Do I have the soul or the mind? I must have something that gives me crazy amounts of mapping. Okay. Okay. Uh, th there's no boss in this direction. Apparently we have the curse of you're just going to go wherever you want and teleport around the floor. What's this? It was. That's pretty useless. We also have the finger. Does the finger scale with your damage? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. That or our guppy flies just destroyed this fool. One or the other. But it appears that, a, that the finger does indeed scale with your damage. Okay. Let's go fight this guy first. You're dead. Sure, 
I'll take Holy Grail. Flight plus HP. Not super good, but... Okay, you're also dead. Glitter Bombs. Give me the Black Rune. What do we need? We need... Tears upgrades, if we can get them. If not, it's not like it's the end of the world or anything. Let's throw that down right there. Pop into the secret... Pop, pop into the secret room? Pop into the secret room. Hey, secret room. You know what? I got 99 keys. What am I going to use them for? Give them to the key beggar. See what you get. I, it would also help if I could, like, see. I mean, I traded one key for more keys. Or I traded, like, ten keys for two keys. This is why the key beggar is not generally worth it, in my humble opinion. He just blows himself up. Although, Crack Crown? Yeah. Yeah, Crack Crown's pretty good. So that actually worked out better than anticipated, especially since it boosted our damage to an even more insane level. So we got like 96 damage right now. Uh, we don't need the mapping. Actually, you know what we should do? We got so many red hearts. Take the sun card. It's an insurance policy. I don't think we're gonna need it, if I'm being honest. But I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Right? Like, I'm sure you guys have heard that phrase before. That's the way I'm looking at this right now. I'd rather have the ability to regenerate all of my hearts with one tap of a button. Thank you for the speed. And just have it sit in my inventory and never use it. Then I would... Ha okay. Well, yeah. I mean, sure. Rusted key. No. You gotta stick with Crack Crown. Like, why would you not? Okay. That worked out pretty well. Everything is exploding everywhere. These guys should not be delirium. High Priestess. Yeah, a uh, sun card. What, what would I... No, that's... Okay, that's delirium. Fine. Oh, that's right. I need to actually release my giant swarm of shots everywhere in order for them to hit things because we have chocolate milk. And I want to actually have the Ipecac shots in the air orbiting around me in the craziness that is this run. And Delirium is already deceased. Goodbye. <laughs> what am I getting hit by now? Is it my Ipecac shots? It's got to be. That was beautiful. I mean, at this point, right? Like, you should really just, like, go and fight a couple more enemies. Let's see what we get. Skolex? You're dead. You're not dead. Why Why are you not dead? Now you're dead. Sure, take it. Why not? What about you? Well, what's up here? Let's peek. The bloat. You know what? You know I hate the bloat. Every self-respecting Isaac player hates the bloat. It's just a, a, it's like one of the Isaac, it's one of the laws of Isaac, is that if you play this game, you hate the bloat. What about you? Okay, for real. Like, if you teleport me illegally one more time, I'm just gonna say this run is finished. So, work with me. Maw of the Void is amazing. What are you, AWAS? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> do 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 And keep in mind, Maw of the Void also scales with your damage. So we can basically destroy anything it will. I don't have explosion immunity, but I do have holy mantle. At least I don't think I have explosion immunity. You're very dead, sir. But bombs. Okay, I think that's all the bosses. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the whole floor because there's just no reason to. But I already I already extended the run beyond what I had to anyway. That was a super fun one, though. I <laughs> I still don't know what what that run was, but it was fun. <clears throat> and 
And there's the seed I think I showed at the beginning, but just in case. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.